So after doing the how does the RTX 2080 hold up videos, I thought it would be a good idea to go back and see how much performance I can squeeze out of this card. Even with it being about 4 years old at the time of this video, it's still a great card and in 1440p it holds its own. I'll be using MSI Afterburner and I'll do a comparison in a few titles with the card's stock versus a mild overclock versus the max overclock I can get stable. I, like most people, don't have a ton of money to throw out the latest and greatest, and so over time I try to squeeze as much as I can out of what I have. I always like to get the best hardware I can afford, which means I like to hold on to things for as long as I can, as long as they perform the way I need them to. So without dragging this on too much more, let's see how much I can get out of the RTX 2080. Thank you. 
I am still impressed with how well this thing performs in 1440. The card I'm using is water cooled so it boosted pretty well on its own. I was able to get a little bit more out of the core clock but a ton out of the memory clock. I pushed this thing to its absolute max and although it was stable if you want longevity out of your card it's probably not the best idea and as you saw in the benchmarks there wasn't a huge game between the medium and max overclock. But if you need it, especially in games like Red Dead Redemption, you can always switch between profiles. All I'm saying is, if you want to keep your card running for as long as possible, I wouldn't have it running at its max at all times. So there you have it. The RTX 2080 is still a great card. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you like my content, get subscribed. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.